Hi, welcome to Party Food Hero. I'm Aaron. Today we're going to be making double bacon jalapeno poppers. Why double bacon? Because double bacon. Now I don't do it where you wrap the bacon on the jalapeno popper. I just find it to be kind of annoying and inconsistent with the bite. Sometimes you'll bite it, you pull the whole bacon off and then you don't have any more bacon when you're biting the rest of it. So I have a kind of a unique way of doing it that makes a makes it so that you can get a bite of bacon in every bite or whatever. <laughs> so it's a really easy recipe. Let's check it out. Okay, for this recipe, you're gonna need cream cheese, bacon, cheese, barbecue seasoning, jalapenos. I'm using honey mustard in this one. You can use barbecue sauce, you can not use anything. This will just add another layer of flavor to your jalapeno popper. All right, you're gonna take your jalapeno, cut it lengthwise, trying to keep that stem on as much as you can. That'll help with keeping it balanced while it's cooking, and then gives you a cute little handle when you're serving it to people and eating it if you're by yourself. Now you're gonna take a small spoon and you're gonna remove the seeds and the pith from the jalapeno. Unless you want it to be super spicy, you can keep the seeds in. I think that's what gives it some more heat. I don't know, maybe. Just remove it, you're not gonna to wanna to eat it. The pith is very bitter, so you definitely don't want that. And this is the easiest way I've found to do it. It doesn't take a long time. You just scoop it all out and then you got yourself a little bowl, a little jalapeno bowl to fill with what is essentially a cheese ball. Let's check it out. You're gonna take your cooked bacon and you're gonna chop it up. You're gonna chop it up into not the smallest of pieces, but good sized pieces, not good size, small pieces good small size pieces. That way, in every bite you take of this jalapeno popper, hence the name double jalapeno popper, you will have bacon in it, guaranteed, if you follow this recipe exactly how I do it. Now, I didn't say follow exactly how I would do this chopping since eh, it's not that good, but gets the job done. Make sure you run your finger over that sharp knife at the end. Don't really do that. You are gonna add your room temperature cream cheese, and then you are gonna definitely wanna add your bacon? Bacon! And don't do it this way. God, this really, this stressed me out. I remember thinking, this isn't gonna go in, and then it did. But don't do something that'll kinda of stress you out, like trying to put your perfectly cut bacon into a bowl with room temperature cream cheese. All right, let's see what we're gonna put in next. I I don't remember. Cheese, maybe? I don't know. How, what do you think I'm gonna put in? Barbecue seasoning? Nothing, haha, -ha, trick question. We're gonna mix in the bacon first. And you're gonna mix that in real good. Real good. See, look at that. Look how much bacon's in there. You think you're gonna not get a bite and not have bacon in it? Not happening. Especially when you see what we did at the end. You for sure will always have bacon in every bite. Now you're gonna add your favorite barbecue seasoning, steak seasoning, whatever seasoning you think is gonna taste good in this. I use Voodoo Barbecue from Meat Church and it does a fabulous job. My boys out at Meat Church Barbecue in Texas, we're not really boys, but you know, maybe, maybe they'll see this video and then we'll become boys. He seems like a cool guy. You mix it all in. The nice thing about this as well is tasting it for seasoning because it's bacon, cream cheese, and seasoning. So that's gonna be delicious to taste test. Next, you're gonna put in some cheese. I like to use the finer grater option on the cheese, box box cheese grater, cheese, box cheese, box grater, box grater cheese, box. You know what I'm talking about, you, you, know, you saw what I was doing. And then you just add that in there too. 
Uh, I'll give you a measurement in the description below. I don't really measure it. I kind of just eyeball it, but I'll give you a, I'll give you a, a guess about how much I put in. And just look at that. Just like Headley and Weish, the British toothpaste, that alone, this mixture alone would taste great on a cracker. All right, you're gonna take your jalapeno and then you're just gonna put in the filling. I forgot that I was filming it, so I didn't have it kind of in the in the frame. But I also put this on a wire uh, rack like this. I think it helps kind of cook the jalapeno through better. No science. That's just how I do it. Yeah, you just fill them up. You don't want to fill them up too high. If you fill them up too high, you run the risk of it f boiling over. And that's that's not what you want. So you want to go right level, uh, maybe a little higher. Maybe. If you want to get you want to get a little crazy, you can go a little bit over the edge, but not too much. And yeah, I think you've seen it. Whoa. That almost fell. Oh, look, there's the little baby in the... You can see her. What's she doing? Oh, my goodness. I couldn't believe... I, I'm i going to have to make sure she's okay with being on this video. If you want your jalapeno poppers to really pop, what you do is this. All right, so I took the jalapeno poppers out after I cooked them for about 15 minutes. And then I brushed on, ever so carefully, this jalapeno honey mustard. You don't have to use this. This is where you can use whatever you want. You can use your barbecue sauce. You can use something else that sounds really good. I tried this. They turned out amazing. So I'll probably do this every time. But this just adds another layer of a little bit of sweetness in there with the spiciness. And it just turned out really good. So give it a whirl. Or don't. But do. Please. All right. Two things. I forgot to film me putting cheese on the jalapeno poppers and sticking them back in the oven for another like minute maybe before it melted like that. Uh, and the other thing was after I made these and ate it, it was delicious. But I said to myself, this is missing something. And my wife said, more bacon. And I said, what? She said, more bacon. And I said, that's why I married you. So I listened to my wife and I put on even more bacon on top. This is how you can guarantee that you will always have bacon in every bite. And then I did a little, a little, a little balsamic drizzle on top. I'll be honest, the ranch that I dipped it in, don't do ranch. I did blue cheese and tried that. That was good. And then the best was not dipping it in anything at all. So you can... Have something to dip if your guests are super into ranch or whatever, but you don't need... Oh, look at this. Got to get even closer. Get even closer. Just move the camera around. It's okay. I'm just talking. But yeah. Oh, it turned out so good. These are so good. I may or may not have eaten all of these. Sorry for the camera shaking. I needed some... <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what's, what's happening here? What's happening here? I don't know. Could I edit that out? Sure. Am I going to? No. So there you go. That is the fantastic double bacon jalapeno popper. Your friends and family are going to love it. Now for my favorite part of the video. All right, now for my favorite part of the video. I get to eat the food. Now, as you can tell, we put just a ridiculous amount of bacon to ensure that you get a mouthful of bacon or a lot of bacon every time you take a bite. So here we go. Oh my God, I didn't get any bacon in that bite. Um, I better take another bite. That is so good. I was just joking, obviously. I did get a bite of bacon in the first bite. Um, 
I just wanted a, an excuse to bite it again. It's that good. I wanted to take two bites on camera in front of single digit amounts of people that are watching this. It's one of the best side dishes or appetizers that you can bring to a party. Everybody likes it, I guess, unless you don't like jalapenos, which you don't really taste that much of the jalapeno. You really taste mostly the bacon and the cheese. Really good. It's a really, really good. It's just a good combination of, of everything. You got a little, little bit of everything in there. You got a little bit of the sweet. If you put the, the little decorative drizzle on top, you have a little sweet of that. If you like what we're doing on this channel, don't forget to hit like on this video, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell, tell your friends about it. Visit us on Instagram at Party Food Hero. Check out the website at PartyFoodHero.com. That has all the recipes in detail as well. Uh, and remember, be the party food hero. Do, 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 do. You don't have to do this, but uh, you can use a little blue cheese or whatever. I tried this as ranch, it's kind of gross, unless you love ranch. A little blue cheese, delicious. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm.